Hi, I want to measure the power output of my motor, so here's my setup. I mounted a wooden arm on a grinder. On the long side of the wooden arm there's a counterweight, and on the short side there's a solid piece of aluminium. The short side of the arm is also pressing on the weight scales. On the side of the rotor, which is not part of the magnetic circuit of the motor, there are some magnets mounted. These magnets are mounted in uh, alternating polarity pattern. When the rotor is rotating, these magnets will induce an eddy current in the aluminium piece. So if the motor and the measuring device share approximately the same axis, then this measuring device will quote-unquote stall some momentum from the motor. With good setup, this momentum can be quite precisely measured by the scales. On the bottom there are three multimeters. First one is measuring power supply voltage. The second one is measuring driver frequency. Third is measuring current drawn from power supply. So, let's spin things up and check out the results. Just to be sure, I shot a slowdown footage of the motor at 60Hz. As expected for 12 pole motor, there will be 10 pulses for revolution. To be honest, I expected efficiency of about 30 or 35%. Having two rotor plates may increase efficiency, in this case up to about 60%. Adding coil turns and modifying shape of the coil and using the different shape of the magnets may give us another 15%. So the motor with three plates may run at about 500 watts, with efficiency of 75% at maximum. But is it worth it? Well, it depends. It is a DC motor, that is a big limitation. As I said, it may run at AC mains with a controller. And you can get 300 watts output power for 40 bucks. Well, in the UK, US or Canada, Probably no problem, but here it would be quite a luck to find such a deal. However, yesterday I found a motor that is optimized for 3D printers and the design is simply wonderful. So if you are interested, check out the link in the description.